What are some of the symptoms of small bowel bleeding? So bleeding from the small bowel may be slow or fast. When the bleeding is slow, it may cause anemia, a low blood count, uh, but you may not even see the blood. Uh, it may not even be visible in the stool. Anemia may cause symptoms such as tiredness and shortness of breath, but many people have no symptoms. If the bleeding is fast, it is called a hemorrhage. People with hemorrhage may notice blood when they move their bowels or when their bowel movements may be black or tarry. What are the most common causes? The causes of bleeding in the small bowel are different from those in the colon or the stomach. The most common causes of bleeding from the colon are polyps, diverticulosis, which are small outpouchings in the wall of the colon or cancer. Upper GI bleeding may occur in the esophagus, stomach, or duodenum, most often due to ulcers or inflammation in the intestines. However, in the small bowel, 30 to 40% of bleeding is caused by abnormal blood vessels in the wall of the small bowel. These abnormal blood vessels have many names, including angioectasias, angiodysplasias, or arteriovenous malformations. In people over the age of 50 years, these so-called AVMs are the most common cause of small bowel bleeding. Other causes of small bowel bleeding include benign, non-cancerous, and malignant cancerous tumors or polyps, or inflammatory bowel disease called Crohn's disease, or ulcers. How will a doctor diagnose a patient experiencing rectal bleeding? There are multiple tests for evaluating the small bowel. In most cases, the first step is endoscopy and or enteroscopy, which is a longer instrument that looks down into the first part of the small intestine. If that fails to find a source of bleeding, a common next step is capsule endoscopy. There are also x-ray options, including a small bowel follow-through or computed tomographic scan known as a CAT scan of the small bowel. Deep small bowel enteroscopy can now be performed under special circumstances using instruments with inflatable balloons or over tubes. And the final option is intraoperative enteroscopy. This requires surgery and is usually done only in rare circumstances when all other tests are negative. Mm -hmm.